What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to clear an application's cache on your iPhone or iPad. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Clearing your cache is essential, because caches are basically storage of temporary data that helps apps run faster by not having to redownload content. However, when system data starts to balloon, sometimes reaching upwards of 50 GB, it's a clear sign your iPhone's cache needs a cleanup. So let's dive into how you can free up some of that crucial storage space, starting with the most common culprit, Safari. To clear Safari's cache, you'll want to open the Settings app. Scroll down to Safari and select Clear History and Website Data. You'll be given the option to close all tabs, which I recommend doing to ensure a thorough cleanup. For those who prefer Chrome, you can also clear your cache there. Open a Chrome app. Tap on the three dots for more options. Then navigate to Settings, followed by Privacy and Security, and select Clear Browsing Data. Here, make sure that the time range is set to all time and that you select Cached Images and Files for Deletion. Another step you can take is to restart your iPhone. This simple action can temporarily clear some caches. However, it's important to remember that these caches will be rebuilt over time. So this is more of a temporary fix. To restart your iPhone, press the volume up button, then press the volume down button and then press and hold the power button until the slide to power off screen appears. Drag the slider to power off your device. Afterward, press and hold the power button again until you see the Apple logo. Offloading unused apps can also save a significant amount of space. This method deletes the app but keeps your data. So if you reinstall the app, your data will be restored. To offload an app, open up your settings and navigate to General, iPhone Storage. Here, find the app and proceed to offload it. You can also delete it if you don't plan to use it anymore. It's crucial to remember that caches are not inherently bad. They're designed to speed up your app usage by storing temporary data. The key is managing them so they don't take up unnecessary space on your device. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.